When a patient comes in to see us for allergies, we will typically do a prick testing, just like you would uh, have it during any other allergy testing. And we test that against a histamine. So we give them a histamine uh, as a control, and, a, and that should give you a response. And then when you check that compared to, for example, grasses or trees or ragweed, and if you have a large response to some of those, then we will take the top 10, for example, things that you're allergic to and put them into a dropper. Now to get that, we have to send off for those and uh, receive those back. And so we'll have the patient return a couple of weeks later when, once their vials have been uh, formulated and sent to us. And then we'll have them do the first uh, couple of drops in front of us to make sure that they don't have a big allergic reaction to those drops. And then they actually are able to go home and they do the first vial one drop on the first day, then two drops on the second day, and they might have a little bit of tingling around the mouth from what they're allergic to inside there. Um, but as long as it's uh, no major reaction, then they keep escalating up to about five drops at home. And so they do that each day, they're putting drops under their tongue, and then once they've established that they're safe on five drops, we switch to the second vial, and then Again, we escalate because it's a little more concentrated. One drop on the first day up until five drops. And then once we got them at their highest concentration of five drops of the stronger um, medication, then they keep doing that all the way up until that allergy season and then even beyond with the hopes that their body has gotten used to it and then they don't have that vigorous response to the allergens in the environment. Just like everything else in medicine, there are pros and cons to doing the allergy testing and allergy shots. And so one of the things we have to do is make sure we're doing this in a safe way. And so some of the patients do have to come in several weeks in a row to make sure that they're not having a severe allergic reaction and that we can be there watching them during their first few shots. And the same thing for the drops or tablets under the tongue. And we want to just make sure everybody's doing this in the safest way possible so that way we can get them the relief they need but without putting them in any danger. As far as the age range of people that can be tested, they do have to undergo the initial prick testing, and so we can't start uh, kids that are too young to undergo the testing for allergy shots. Um, however, a lot of kids, if they're a young, stoic child, then they can undergo that without any problems, and then as long as they know that they're not getting a shot every single week, they can tolerate it pretty well. Um, and then, you know, even with some adults, they don't tolerate the prick testing very well. And in those patients, sometimes we have to rely on, you know, your antihistamines and your nasal steroid sprays and other options besides just allergy shots. Overall, we've got a great system here at St. Louis University for the allergy testing and allergy shots. And, and now with the sublingual immunotherapy or allergy drops, I think it offers patients a lot of opportunity to try different things or for us to recommend different things based on their individual profile. And we've had a lot of success with that and I'm really excited about that.